I'm gonna remove this mold here, so I just wanna take it off as nice and flat as I can, so I kinda I just take my time with you then. You okay? Are you feeling a pinch? No, no, just, I don't know what's going on. So. Oh yeah, well we're just taking a little time. Just, I'm just gonna stretch your skin so we can try to get this off as nice and flat as we can. It's kind of in a little, a little um, bend of your face, you know, like a little uh, dip in your face. So sometimes it, I just, you just gotta be cautious not to take off too much. Or sometimes I think we err more on the side of taking off a little too little. So if that happens and that's the case, it's easy to remedy. You know, we just try to take off a little bit more. There we go. And it helps to kind of sculpt the edges a little bit. If I turn it on a, a low setting, it kind of helps to get rid of some of the mole cells there too to make it fl as flat as we can, we can. So I'm trying to kind of sculpt the edges a little bit. What is that like? This a is one? not, this is actually, it is really fun. You and I have a different way of expressing ourselves, I guess. I'm using a, what's called a little punch, okay? That's like what we use to kind of make a little, and you are correct, this is definitely a cyst. I see the cyst contents right there. It's a good one coming out, actually. It's a very nice one. I'm going to try to tease it out. In fact, I'm going to change to a different, because we both have a sharp tip. So am I going to be able to get a copy of uh, um, of what the, the video? video? Yeah, if you want a real copy, you can. But you're going to be in, you're going to be YouTube famous. Oh man, I'm so excited! Aren't you excited? You never thought that this would be it, huh? Better not peek here. This better not be the you peeking. You got a lot more life to live. Unfortunately, I might need that. That's nonsense, Doc. Huh. We can show it to you right away too. The video. Make sure we get this whole thing out. That's, it's a nice one. What? So a cyst, I'm sure Aaron told you this too, is in like a little sack, and we have to make sure we get the whole sack out. Otherwise, that would mean that you know part of it can recur. So I'm pretty sure that was the bottom of the sack. We can see the sack edges, and this is all the kind of contents inside. It's like a kind of like a cheesy little discharge. It was kind of deep underneath there. Just, I'm gonna squeeze it, just make sure it looks nice and neat, but I'm gonna just trim around there a little bit, take an extra look. Okay, let me just clean it off a little bit here and just check and see. Switch to my other pickups here. Making sure that no contents are still in there because sometimes if a little cyst, the issue is with cyst walls, if, if there is a little bit of it left, it can recur, kind of like a worm that you cut off their tail and they seem to grow back or that kind of thing so I always kind of make sure that it's all gone I think there's an edge right here so let me just make sure we got it all sorry about this loud sound I'm like I'm trimming your hair at the same time <laughs> trying to grow dreads doc so I can't do that what are you doing trying to grow dreads are you no, right? no really oh, I think you look good in dreads that's it it's all gone it's all gone right oh, what was that oh stop no, it Right on the inside, you can see that he's like little hair follicles, actually, that's why you see that. And give me a big smile again. So, a big smile again, you did a big, see how we, that's how we know in what direction to close, put the suture, so. So, we put a couple of stitches right across in that direction. Um, I had it for about six, six, six months. Oh, look, that, yeah, maybe six months. And you actually tried to squeeze it a little bit and nothing came out, nothing right? Nothing came out, exactly. So, um, I'm trying to save his modeling career here. So we're gonna make this nice and tight by get, putting a little deep stitch in here. Oftentimes with these punches, you don't need to put a deep one in, but just because he's sweet, we're gonna do that for him, keeping him, keeping him looking like, um, uh, tr being treated in the way that he's accustomed to, you know, I'm sure. No idea. <laughs> You're embarrassed by me, aren't you? What did I do there? Hold on a minute, I nodded myself here. Oh, I actually put the suture right in the middle of the other suture. Do you see what I did there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start over again then. Excuse me for a minute. Let me just regroup here. Get nice and tight for him. So that it's a fine line and increases the chances that it stays a fine line because I know he likes to talk.
talk a lot. So you can stretch this little scar if he talks too much. That's better now. Good. Stack it. And put a little tie there. Doing my own ties here. We're gonna put a top stitch on there too to kind of. So that one's gonna to help to kind of keep it together a little Wait, bit. We are going to get his girlfriend some nice um, parting gifts here. Okay. Cause um, I think I'm gonna to try to get get a nice some some nice samples and stuff for her. That's our payment for him letting us do this. It was under there. You know, it was no. a little deep under there. I wonder why. I'm actually surprised you were not able to squeeze anything out because it was um it was under there, but it was it was reachable. Really? Yeah, it was. It was um I'll show you. I'll show it to you. Let's see. So you have two sutras there. You know, you can actually take these out yourself if you like, but I would wait a week. Five okay. to seven days. Okay. Okay? 